so you are new to test automation and you are confused where should you start selenium with java or selenium with c sharp well the answer to this question is very simple and in this video i am going to give you the answer to this question i am naim akram malik and i am a senior software engineer and a senior test engineer as well just a few days ago some very good friends of mine who are from QA background asked me that they want to learn test automation in the next year. So where should they start? Selenium with Java or Selenium with C Sharp? Whether they should learn programming first or what is it that they should be doing? So I gave them the answer and I also put the same question on the LinkedIn. So in this video, I'm going to answer this question. First of all, let's go to LinkedIn and see what other people had to say because it was a really popular thread if you ask me. So in response to my question on LinkedIn, there were several very notable responses. For example, Rex Jones too, who is known for his tutorial videos, said that Selenium using Java or c -sharp both are good and the syntaxes are very similar. However, I suggest Java since it's more online resources are available to help if someone gets stuck. But then underneath the comment, Richard W said that I have had a similar experience. Most of my background is in Java, but I was able to put together a C sharp demo in one day, in a day. I'm no C sharp genius, but I got it to work and my job interviewer was impressed. All right. So this tells us that programming language is not very important and you can achieve anything you can achieve in C sharp that you can also achieve in Java and vice versa. And same is the case for Python. If you want to learn test automation, there are many paths to the same summit. You can take many path paths, but you have to get started somewhere and test automation is much more than just Selenium. Test automation can be done through APIs. It can be done through um, unit tests it can be done through integration and like uh, there are a lot of things which can be done in test automation so but selenium is only one starting point there are other starting points as well let us discuss selenium in today's video bass says that learn selenium what it does how it works what good patterns are when using selenium and when not to use selenium so if you understand that the specific language binding you choose don't matter much anymore. All right. And below Sarah Thompson asked a question further that how do we learn what Selenium does and how it works without first picking a specific language. Now that's a very intelligent question. And uh, the answer is given below. Uh, Bass says before Bass we had Muhammad Usman Tipu. He said that it is a very common confusion. So a frequent question from the beginners language first or selenium first. I think it would be great to have a detailed explanation from the experts. All right. So Bass said that you are right Sarah. You can't. My point is that too many people stick to a single language binding and tool set after that labeling themselves as selenium in Java with test ng or selenium in C sharp. So with a proper understanding of how Selenium works and what the role of a unit testing framework is. So these are two things, how, how Selenium works, you need to have an understanding of that. And what is the role of a unit testing framework together with some object or some object oriented programming skills, it should be relatively easy to switch from one language to the next. I think that would make you a much more versatile tester, automation engineer, whatever people label themselves as, right? And my answer here is that I just added to what Bass had to say that you can check pluralsite.com. It is a very good website. They are a very old course portal. So how to use Selenium through Postman is covered in their Selenium courses. I believe it is covered because I remember I saw one course in which they showed how to use Postman to establish a connection with Appium or Selenium. But I believe if you have the plural site subscription you can do do some digging and you can find it out a link is given below to one plural site course you can go through this route and as bass said that once you understand the role of selenium then you can basically use any language binding let me explain it to you 
All right. So here I have this diagram. You can see that we have various programming languages on the left side. We have C Sharp, Java, and, and Python. And in the middle, we have Selenium. And then we have these drivers. And then we have these browsers. So essentially, what is the flow? Flow is essentially that Selenium is acting as an agent, sort of an agent. The Selenium is responsible for taking stuff from a programming language, certain commands from programming language, and send them over to the relevant drivers of specific browsers. Now, these drivers are written by the makers of the browsers. For example, the Chrome driver is created by Google, the Firefox driver is created by Firefox, Mozilla, and the Internet Explorer Edge driver is created by Microsoft. So, what happens? When we send a command, when we call a method call from of, of the Selenium API from your test automation script, a Selenium or a Selenium command is sent to the Selenium. And Selenium then takes it and sends it to a driver according to the stuff which you have configured in your scripting. And that driver talks to the browser for the actual automation. All right. And then, for example, if you have Java, Java is also doing the same thing and it is again sending some stuff to the Selenium and Selenium is sending some stuff to the driver and driver is sending it over to the browser. And then we have Python. Python is again sending things to Selenium and Selenium will send it to some driver. It could be Internet Explorer, Firefox or Chrome or any driver. So this is the top level architecture. Something similar happens when we have a Selenium grid configured, but essentially this is what is happening. So you can see that there is a strong decoupling between the programming language and Selenium. The programming language bindings are separate from the Selenium executable or the Selenium thing which essentially talks to the driver. Now you might ask that what is the role of the web driver? The web driver specification is of is playing a very important role here. All drivers are written in a way that they are they conform to the web driver specification. So it is in place the web driver specification. It is a W3C standard. It is in place to keep all of this mess together and so that everything conforms to some standard. All right. So now let's head back to LinkedIn. Michael J. I won't pronounce his last name correctly, so I would call him, call him Michael J. Michael J said that personally I prefer using Selenium with Java, but I would answer this question by neither of them. Currently, the best test automation tool on the market is Cypress. Yes, I believe Cypress is good. And more so because now uh, Chromium uh, is being used by Microsoft Edge browser. The Chromium engine is being used by Mozilla Firefox browser. So right now, Cypress has got support for uh, Chrome browser, for Edge browser, and for Firefox because the Chromium engine is being used by newer version of uh, versions of these browsers. So now Cypress has more reach. Previously, it was a problem that Cypress only works with uh, Chrome. But now that thing has been like sort of fixed. And then Dan Rusu said that I think learning to code in any language is a good start for automation. I would suggest JavaScript. If it's web testing, I consider that I understand the, uh, that understanding the HTML DOM as an API for JavaScript should happen prior to an automation tool like Selenium or any other one. All right. So, my input in this regard is that most programming language courses are not tailor made for QA engineers, QA persons looking to become test automation engineers or looking to learn test automation engineers. So, these programming courses, typical programming courses, teach a lot of programming, which is essentially a lot more than what is needed by an automation engineer. I myself have a plan to create such a course which will be tailored for SQA engineers, but that will take some time. But I think that we need to have a limited scope of programming for test automation engineers because there are a lot of things which you don't need to learn if you want to become a test automation engineer. All right. 
on we go and we have rob mcbride he also said that he likes cypress why uh, because today most modern web front ends are written in javascript and typescript and cypress allows the front end developers to engage more with automated ui testing reducing the need for specialist selenium automation testers i agree with him because that's the way it is but still selenium is strong and uh, if you don't know javascript you can use selenium and then we have tusri mohanti she said that i have working experience with both selenium with java and c sharp according to me to start with it's better to choose selenium with java all right so we have more votes for selenium with java <laughs> as we will get more online materials to understand however if the application that you are trying to automate is built with dotnet it is better to go with c sharp my perspective about this is that what language to learn depends on your background as in what type of company are you working if you are working in a software house in a software company in an it department which is already using more java you have java development people around you then i suggest going with java because as you have seen that the language is totally separate programming language and libraries are to totally separate from selenium so if you have more java people around you from whom you can learn from whom you can get help when you like uh, miss a semicolon or or when you like mess up the spellings then i suggest that you should go with java but if you have more c sharp people around you like for example in my previous company although i was already experienced in development and, and in test development as well there were other new people who were uh, will, willingly learning test automation about those folks i always recommended them to start with c sharp and because the reason was that we had a c sharp code base in place we had automated 40 applications through the ui in my previous job and we had a lot of c sharp code written we had a lot of selenium and coded ui and win app driver code written in that company so that code would be used as a reference for the people who were trying to learn test automation so that's an answer that which language to learn depends on your background and you need to learn just enough programming language just get a top level understanding of uh, what are classes because you won't be using programs like public void main anymore you won't be writing that you will be using a, a test automation framework so you need to have a top level understanding of that what is a class what is a method what is public private how do you define variables how do you call a method what are method parameters what is a for each loop uh, what is an if else condition so these are just some main things which you need to understand and from there you can move on and then you can learn selenium or if you don't want to go through ui you can also learn how to use uh, rest c sharp rest sharp or uh, there is um, an api in java you can learn those and you can like proceed with that with api automation because uh, in that you won't have to do much like ui work but again it's your preference right now we are talking about selenium java or selenium c sharp the next thing is um my friends asked me that but java and selenium are more closely related and i told them that no that is not the case java is and selenium were very closely tied in the past but now selenium has come so far that it is pretty much an independent thing it is very independent from java you can use selenium or selenium in java or c sharp or python or even ruby or any many other languages and you don't have to be dependent on java okay so there is a complete decoupling from programming language and then they asked me that all microsoft tools are paid if we will start learning automation with microsoft we will be we will need to pay we will have to buy licenses and i told them that no that is again not the case that is important thing Microsoft Visual Studio Community Edition is totally free for you to use. Microsoft .NET Core is totally free for you to download, install, and utilize. Microsoft Visual Studio Code is also free for you to utilize. So there is a lot of stuff. Even if you want to run your test automation scripts through Azure DevOps through a cloud, you can do that. I, even I actually I teach a course about that too. 
and that is for uh, win app driver basically uh, desktop applications but i do teach a course about that as well so i can tell you for sure that you can have five free users five free users you can get five free collaborators to execute test automation scripts through the cloud on remote machines without installing visual studio so that is also covered so you don't won't have to buy expensive licenses if you, if you want to stick with c sharp and selenium or c sharp and rust sharp so these are the questions which i wanted to answer today so i hope that it will be helpful for you in achieving your goals in 2021 and beyond and i will also place the link to my udemy courses down below the azure devops courses link is also down below you can check it out and my other courses about uh, test automation ui test automation with appium with appium and c sharp and win app driver i teach you how to do the automation testing of uh, windows desktop applications and that is also very easy to do one more thing i totally forgot to mention the document object model well if you want to learn web application automation with selenium you also need to learn what is a document object model how do web applications work you have to have a top level understanding of that as well for your for what earlier so i was talking about my own test automation course on udemy its link is also given below if you search win app driver on udemy my course is the only full course about win app driver and apm on udemy do check it out at least and feel free to ask any questions i am always here to help thank you very much you have a great day god bless you bye